At T-Mobile for Business, unconventional thinking means we see things differently so you can focus on what matters most. That's why we've become the leader in 5G, number one in customer satisfaction, and a partner who includes 5G in every plan. So you get it all. Unconventional thinking is better for business. Open Signal Awards T-Mobile as America's fastest 5G network USA. 5G user experience report July 2021. Capable device required. Coverage not available in some areas. Some uses may require certain plan features. See T-Mobile.com. For J.D. Power 2020 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. Welcome to the Oh Hell No podcast, where I, Keisha Nicole, delivers a daily dose of passion, purpose, and struggle by interviewing people who are living their best life doing what they love. Here on this podcast, every Oh Hell No moment serves a purpose. Now let's get started with the show. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Oh Hell No podcast. Today, I have Jess Toulson. She is the founder and owner of Mix Hers. Yes. yes. It's this fabulous company that makes these great little packets of they have powder in them that help They're like you... magic packets. They're <laughs> magic. magic. Packets, right. That help you during PMS and a whole bunch of other things. We're going to get into all the products and we're going to talk to her about everything. So welcome to the podcast, Jess. I'm so happy to have you here. I feel like I feel so privileged to even be a guest on your podcast. So thank oh, you for letting me join you. You're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so just the, the truth. <laughs> I really appreciate that because I guess sometimes when you're doing something, you don't realize the magnitude of it or how much people appreciate being a part of it. You just feel like, you know, you're just doing it and you don't see it, you know, as this thing, but people are always so gracious about, you know, being invited and coming on. And I really and truly appreciate you guys. Cause I couldn't do this podcast without you. Well, it's, it's really, really great to a connect with another woman and then B, to have someone see something exciting about what you're doing and allow, you know, you are opening your platform to me to even yeah. let me be a small part of your platform. And that's huge for my small business. So thank you. Oh, I love it. All right. Woman empowerment. Yes, girl. Yes. All about <laughs> it over here. Yeah. So the first thing I want to ask is what did you want to be when you grew up? Like when you were a child, what did you think you were going to be? I love this question because I've kind of stayed with my dream and also totally surprised myself. I always dream of being a mom and I don't say just because being a mom isn't anything huge. It was really just, I felt like all growing up that was going to completely fulfill me. And I love that it does for a lot of women. And I am a mom of three. So I am a, a mom and I love being a mom, but also... I, I feel that I'm not completely fulfilled just in motherhood. And that's why I had to step into entrepreneurship and um, kind of chase a dream with mixers. Wow, that is so interesting. I love that. So I'm a mom too, right? I have two kids. And I always felt like, okay, motherhood is nice. I'm so appreciative to God for giving me, for blessing me to say, yes, you can carry this soul and have this baby and be a mom and take care of this, this person, this being right. But I, I never felt like that was the end all be all for me. Like, you know, your kids grow up, they do what they want to do. Sometimes they do what you want them to do. Most times they don't. <laughs> so, you know, they go off and they have their own lives and then you're left with you. So I've yeah. always felt the same way. And I used to feel bad that I didn't like, I would see some women and they were like all about being moms and, oh my God, I've never known this love before in my life. It's been so amazing. And I'm like, is something wrong with me? <laughs> like, Oh, mom, and is it mom guilt? such a thing I'm like why it, people say like no mom guilt like no that's not. I'm like oh no, no no mom guilt is a thing and it's like a con it's a constant battle right yes like, you're obsessed with your kids but should I feel guilty that I'm not completely fulfilled or should other women feel guilty that they are completely fulfilled in motherhood 
Right. No, but it's a con- regardless of your situation, it is a constant effort to talk yourself through like, no, I'm just doing me. And what is great for me does not, it's not a blanket statement for all women. The way I do things is not how all women need to do things or how I feel about motherhood isn't how all women should feel about motherhood. Exactly. And if you are totally fulfilled in being a mom, like I have a friend and she is totally fulfilled in being a mom and a wife. Like she loves that. I mean, she works, but her, to me, her passion is taking care of her children and her husband. Like she just loves that whole thing. And don't get me wrong. I love taking care of my husband and my daughter right now. My daughter lives at home, but my son doesn't, but I, I, I like being a mom. Like I like cooking. I like taking care of them. I like doing things for them, making sure they're okay. But I also like, you know, like zoning in on Keisha and what she loves to do and, and what, where she wants to go and focus my energies on me. So Mm -hmm. I just really appreciate that you said that and that we could have this little conversation and let all the moms out there know, no matter which side of the fence you're on, no one's judging you. It's okay. You know, yeah. and if someone is judging another woman, it's on them. It's yeah. not your call. You know what I mean? If there is someone that's like you're spending too much time outside of the home, that's that is their own personal issue and has nothing to do with you being out chasing your dreams. So exactly. Yeah. So tell me one thing. Okay. So first, before I ask this question, because yeah. you you always wanted to be a mom, did you ever have any type of working aspirations or were you like I was watching 90 day fiance and I'm addicted I just discovered that show like in the past month or so and I binged I'm gonna look it up (laughs) oh my god I binged it and there was this one girl who she's getting married to a guy and she's like in her 20s and um the parents asked her well what are you gonna do for work and she's like well um I'm not gonna work like I'll do a couple of things on Instagram but I'm not really work oriented I just want to focus on um like my mental health and just being Zen and not really stress out. Like he's going to work and I'm okay with that. And when we have children, I'll stay home and take care of the children. And I was like, damn, I have never thought like that. And why have I never thought like that? Right? Because this Mm -hmm. is the reality for some women, like that's what they want. Mm -hmm. So in asking you this question, did you kind of feel like, I'm just going to be a mom, have children and stay home and take care of my home. Or did you end up in the workforce before you became a mom? Do you know what's funny is now that I look back, I have to say that mixers is my first go at like a full-time career. I I actually grew up and um, out of college, I was a professional dancer and that was, I would travel around, but doing like little gigs here and there. Right. Um, but now that I look back, I realized that I was kind of practicing my whole life for what I do now because I I was always driven towards like communities of women like I had this like um I felt like this like magnetic pull to like why do I I I always want to be in like the big groups of women and like connecting I would host events I would look for like times to go and network around women I love being in the fitness industry I tried teaching fitness classes like I felt like there were all these kind of practicing moments that now make sense for me with yeah. mixers, right? So yeah. I'm sure, maybe the whole time that I was practicing, I thought like, oh, this is just going to be, you know, a fun part-time thing as I'm raising my little babies or even before I had kids, like, oh, I'll be home later with my kids. But so this is just fun for now. When really, in reality, all of those um small gigs as I was you know with my upbringing it was like practice for what I am now doing and I felt drawn my whole childhood my dad's an incredible entrepreneur he's had success with different ventures and I always felt really really curious about everything my dad was doing I have a brother that's the same, you know, he followed in my dad's footsteps. And I felt like I was always very curious about what they were doing, but I don't know that I believed I had that in me. Does that, I was questioning myself. Right. And then once I became so passionate about something, 
I felt like that, that fire was finally lit in me where, okay, like I, I am going to do this on my own. I, I do have more dreams that I want to chase than, um, you know, than what I was currently doing. And I, I feel like, yeah, I, I think that I had practicing moments all, yeah. all through my upbringing, but now looking back, I've been able to realize those, those were great life lessons that are helping with some success now. Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense because I feel like every single thing that we do is preparing us for what we're going to do. So we don't really know. And my question was going to be, tell me one thing you hated to do in corporate America, but you didn't have the corporate America, but just in your day to day that you are now good at and use daily Mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur. Was there anything that you can think back on that kept showing up um, that you were just like, oh, why do I always end up having to do this? And now you're probably really good at it because you had to do it quite a few times. And Mm -hmm. now it, it shows up in your business, you know, with what you're doing. Like, even if it's like organizing events or maybe being the person who is, you know, doing certain things that maybe at the time when you were doing, it was kind of like, Oh my God, this is so annoying. This is really not what I signed up for, but yeah. 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 Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 no. Go ahead. (laughs) You get the point. (laughs) Yeah. And you know what, as you were going through that, I felt like I was having my own little like revealing moment, right? Like as you were talking through that, I was like, Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, I think what something, something that has frustrated me in my past is that I, I have struggled to find a community of women that are relating on health topics. So it felt like it was um, previous to the, the way I've tried to form our mixers community, right? So um, I felt like there wasn't a safe space for women to truly relate. It was like always surface level conversation or like, um, maybe not feeling okay. So like, for example, now with our product, her time, we full on go into like the frustrations of a female's period, like how frustrating it can be. And I felt like before that it was like, why are women just kind of having to like beat around, like beat around these tough topics and not really being able to fully dive in. And so that was a frustration. And that is why our mixers community, the way it is now is like, I'm like, no, 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 we don't do this beating around the topic or like not allowing a safe space for women to speak their truth. We allow the platform for women to speak their truth. And then others fully connect because there's the safe space and the safe environment. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Oh my God. I'm having all kinds of great thoughts about how we're going to connect together. I have something yes, that I want you to I'm meet. all about it. <laughs> I'm all about it. Yes, this is going to be great. So, um, all right. So moving into mixers, tell us how you came up with this idea for this company. What was the thing that, you know, sparked this whole idea and put you into full speed ahead to create it and move forward? Honestly, this is my favorite story to tell. (laughs) Um, So after I had twin daughters, I have twins, they're now six, but honestly, before having my twins, I did not relate to women that felt so frustrated by their periods. I felt that my period would come and go. And yeah, it was a little bit annoying, but it wasn't it wasn't a huge frustration for me. Well, after my twins, that completely changed. My period would come, it would be like two weeks long. I was bedridden. The cramps were horrible. I felt like I was so moody, mean. I I felt like in, I felt like I was being crazy during my period. And I would have these conversations, these personal conversations with myself, like, why are you acting like this? but I couldn't, I didn't feel that I had the control. So I, I realized like something, something's going on and I don't know what it is. And at the time I had no idea what my issue was. Um, so I started kind of researching and really what I could find was, um, to combat the pains I was facing. There was like Midol, ibuprofen, um, Advil, 
but there wasn't anything that was helping with like my major mood swings or the, the hot flashes I was then having like right before my period would come all, all these things. There wasn't really the solution. So I decided to go deeper into research and I was realizing like, why is there not any product on the market that is like a quick and easy solution because I know I'm not the only one facing this. Um, it was then at this time, as I was trying to do the research that one of my partners, her name is Cody Sanders, were actually family and she's a holistic health practitioner. And I was just saying to her like, Cody, I don't know what my problem is. Have you ever come across any women? Have you coached any women in my similar position? And she's like, Oh my word. I, I actually used to be you. Mm. My daughter used to be you and I have something you should try. And she was like mixing the powders, these Chinese herbs that are now her time in her own home and forming them into capsules, like encapsulating them in veggie capsules. And they were using these herbs in pill form. And so after a month of trying them, I'm like, Hmm, wait, that totally did something. My cycle, the blood flow was less, which was a major frustration I had had before. Um, and I noticed I wasn't bloated. Like I actually wanted to wear my regular clothes, which used to not be this, that I, I used to avoid clothes. Like I would wear my yoga pants, right. During all of my cycle, I'm like yoga pants only. I'm like, okay, but that's probably in my head. It's been a month. It's probably not as great as I think it is. So I decided, I'm like, okay, I'm going to commit for two more months. After three months, I could not deny that mix with this, this formula, these powders, <laughs> these herbs, which to me seemed like this was not my world. Holistic <laughs> health was not my world. I'm told, I used to be totally like, give me the ibuprofen. Let's fix this temporarily until I needed full support all month long. So after three months, I went to Cody and I was like, you've got something here and it works and it's helped enough women that you've coached. Cause she was a, a also like a health coach at the time with nutrition and physical fitness. Um, so I, I offered her, I said, what, what do you have? And can we make this a thing? We need to help more women. And that was when we created mixers and that's our first product, Her Time. Wow. That is really good. I actually yeah. just made an appointment with a holistic doctor. So yeah, this, <laughs> it's the right approach. It's like getting to the root cause of your health issues instead of just like band-aid fixes or additional medications. And I know there is a time and a place for medical doctors, mm -hmm. but a lot of times it's just a holistic approach that can really give you a better long-term health. Yes, absolutely. And I do have a holistic doctor that I just interviewed and they will be, that interview is coming soon guys. So it was really Great. informative. Oh, I can't wait to listen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll be listening to that. It was really good. So, um, wow. So what would you say was the most challenging part about starting this business for you guys? So the most challenging part is that actually I was spending 10 months of every year over in Europe. My husband used to be a professional basketball player in Europe. Wow. So the most challenging part is that I would come and go and be here stateside so temporarily. And anyone that's running a business knows how hard it is to be away from your team or trying to always connect. The, we've gotten better with this with the pandemic, right? We all kind of know a bit better how to connect virtually, but this was really hard as we're in product development, trying to then ship myself samples, wait for those to come, make it through customs, the time just, it took so much time in between. Um, <clears throat> so really that was the most frustrating part was even just to get the company really up and running. Mm -hmm. It was, it was hard from a distance. Um, we overcame that challenge because now with the pandemic, my husband is no longer playing overseas basketball full time. And so we're stateside and that really let us, I, we launched in 2019. I was still in Europe. We were giving it like a, 
part-time push. Mm -hmm. Um, and now with COVID I'm home full-time and I mean, very, very over full-time, um, energy put into mixers. Yeah. So where have you seen the most success since your launch? So, um, her time has blown it out of the water. I mean, we're blown away by the response to her time. And then actually we have seen huge success with, um, well, honestly, all of our products have surprised us, or I guess I shouldn't say surprised us. Um, but ha- our product, her greens has just, I mean, it's, it's a competitor with her time. Now women are, are wanting easier solutions for healthy fuel and her greens yes. is that. So yeah, just Absolutely. an easy on the go way to, to feel great about your choice. You're getting in your daily veggies. It tastes good. Um, and it's safe for kids. So for moms, it's been incredible. Nice. So what do you struggle with today as you're building the business? Um, we struggle today with, um, knowing amounts of inventory because we're growing so quickly. So inventory can be a little bit of a hiccup for us. Mm -hmm. Um, knowing the right team members to bring on at what times that's Mm. been a challenge. Just, we know that there's a lot of areas we can use additional help, but as a small business, which help is the most significant right now. And, um, I feel like we've conquered finding our niche market, who are our consumers who is ordering mixers products and we've that used to be a bit of a who are we talking to who what should our mixers voice be and I feel like we've overcome that in the last couple months which feels really good nice thank you so much for that candid answer because I feel like sometimes when you ask people that they don't I don't know if it's that they don't want to give an, uh, a <laughs> candid answer or it's just not that detailed, but that's really helpful for anyone who's a new entrepreneur to know that those things are normal, you know, Oh and yeah, we'll go through those things. So yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel like if you're not having pains and I, I don't know, if you're not having pains, you must not be growing. I mean, there's growing pains. It's a good sign that your business is headed in the right direction. If you're constantly trying to solve problems because that means there's problems to be solved. If you're not growing, then you're not solving any problems. Do you you know what I mean? It's like, you're just stagnant. If you don't have a problem to solve, then you have a problem with your entire business. So, (laughs) you know, all right, Jess, (laughs) you know, well, let's talk about mixers. (laughs) Yeah. So, um, I have, been trying mixers I'm only on like my maybe fourth day is it the fourth day yeah I can't remember but if you guys can see this is like she is. my little packet I'm so mm-hmm. bad with where the camera is <laughs> and you just put this in water and you drink it now I have had it hot because I love tea. I'm a tea girl. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so love that. I've tried it hot and I love that. And I, you know, try it with, you know, room temperature water and that's good too. Um, what flavor has been your favorite so far? I have the strawberry lemonade. Yes. So I've been drinking that one and I like it. Well, um, I'm glad because that's actually my favorite one. Yeah, it's really good. So I was so excited about this because like you, I too have been suffering from like crazy, like PMS stuff, like, and it's different Mm -hmm. all the time. It's like Mm -hmm. headaches. Sometimes I'll get like a headache for like five days straight in a row or menstrual migraines. Yes. And they're bad. Um, Sometimes I get diarrhea, like randomly, Mm -hmm. like, you know, Mm -hmm. then some days I have like terrible cramps, like I'm 16, Um, you know, it's just, and I'm grouchy, I'm snapping at everyone. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm eating every snack and, you know, like chips and, you know, chocolate. It is crazy. It's like up and down. So I've been drinking this and I have to say, I haven't been feeling any wackadoodle symptoms. And I think I'm probably like two weeks away from my period, if that's not too Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> no, no, no. There's nothing, there's nothing oversharing to us over here. So as long as you're good, 
I'm good. <laughs> okay, good. So um, I'm on the Mirena, so I don't um, have this heavy bleeding problem. I, right, right. Yeah, you know, so I spot and stuff with that, but I do get all of the PMS symptoms and they're horrible. So, so far, like I said, I've just been taking this for, I think it's a week. Me, I think mm-hmm. I started last week. So this might be my second week, but mm-hmm. I have been okay. I had vertigo yesterday, but that was not because of this. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. because I have sinus issues. I, I, you know what? I need to have a mixer's vertigo product. <laughs> yes, girl, you should get on that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm thumbs up for me so far. I really feel like I feel good. You know, I mm-hmm. haven't had any headaches. Um, usually I have headaches. Um, sometimes, like I said, it's all random stuff, but so Mm -hmm. far I've been okay. And I don't feel like a fatty McPatty. (laughs) I love that. There's nothing worse than feeling like a fatty McPatty and being like, I'm even being careful with what I'm eating. Like what is going on? It's like such a frustrating feeling for women. And also I have to tell you with all the symptoms you're feeling and what you've been facing, that's not uncommon. Actually, so many women struggle with that list. Yes. that you shared. And it's frustrating, right? It's frustrating for women Terrible. to be like, this is just part of being female. Yeah. That and sucks. that's what I love about our, our her time product and also our other products, but we actually get to the root cause and having all of those symptoms actually isn't normal. Your period really should just come and go without totally sc- like causing your life to come to a screeching halt for a full week of every single month. Um, All those symptoms you're expressing are actually signs that your body is trying to communicate to you that you have nutritional deficiencies. Mm -hmm. So that's where her time comes in and helps, you know, that's why we say to have consistency because it starts to um, provide the, the support your body is actually like screaming for. Does that make sense? Absolutely. That makes sense. So you guys have Her Time Daily, Mm -hmm. Her Time Classic, yep, Her Power, Her Crave, Her Greens, and Her Immunity, and I see Her Nightly. Yep. Sometimes I have insomnia too. So oh, girl, her her nightly. Yeah, we got to get you her nightly. Yes, women are having the best night's sleep of their life. Yes. And that's a big thing. Cause I talk to my girlfriends about that and they'll be like up at two in the morning, like, girl, I can't sleep. And it's like me neither, you know, we're on Instagram. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. Up? What are you doing up? I know. Yeah. And so. women need their sleep. Yes. We need we sleep. Do. Yes. Yeah. So her nightly is incredible. It has chamomile. It has melatonin. It also has biotin collagen and ashwagandha to help with that insomnia gets your beauty. We call it beauty sleep. Your hair grows, your nails grow, all that yeah. good stuff while you sleep and you sleep deeper than before. So it's yes, great. I love that. I definitely need that. And her crave that has to be good because, you know, it's only once a month, but I don't know. Every time my mom comes to visit me, she's like, you're always eating chips. I'm like, you always come around when I'm PMSing. So, yeah. <laughs> You know, but the salt, the sodium from chips and, you know, it's not good. So her crave, if that kind of curbs the whole, you know, let me stuff my mouth. Hormonal cravings. Right. Because that's what it is. Well, and, and our messaging with mixers is not that women should not be eating. Her crave is not a product that will keep you from eating. But we all have to admit that there are times we're eating when we really aren't even hungry. We're emotionally eating, right? So that's where her crave comes and helps. Um, Instead of finding yourself stuffing your face in the pantry when really you just need a nap or really you just, you know, you need that distraction from the food. That's where her crave is helpful. And we want women to be nourishing their bodies with healthy whole foods and as much of that as you want. But at the end of the day, when you say you're stuffing your face with chips, how good do you feel after, right? Not you good. don't feel that great. It's not that we're saying there's something wrong with you, but mixers, we want to help you avoid that feeling of after you go elbow deep in your chips. And then you feel really, you feel even more yeah. 
Ugh, you know, like when you said in the pantry eating, that's me literally like standing in the pantry with a bag of chips and then I'll eat the chips and then I'm like, oh, these cookies and then I'll eat some cookies. Then I'll eat the like it doesn't stop. So, yes, yeah. it's good to once in a while, you know, indulge. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're doing that, mm, you're not going to feel good after. Right, right. Yeah. Those aren't whole foods. Your your body is not really craving those um, foods that leave you not feeling so great after. Yes. So um, let me see. So you got you guys have a great array of products to choose from. Do you have to use them in any specific order or do you have to um, use them? I know you said consistency is important, but for like someone like me who I have the cravings, I have insomnia and, you know, um, I have all of those crazy up and down symptoms. Could I mix these things? Oh, yes. That's my favorite that that's my favorite way to use our products is actually everything should be mixed. That's the concept. So every product can be used daily and really consistency is the best part about our products is you'll, you'll reap the rewards of that consistency because your benefits will, or your, your symptoms, your negative symptoms will start to diminish. So I use every single product every single day. I mix products together. Like I'll mix my her power, my her craven, my her time in one big bottle of water. The only thing that matters is that you drink her nightly at night, because obviously it's going to make you sleepy. That's the only one that matters when you use it. Other than that, it's just get it in and be consistent with it. And you'll, you'll love the benefits. Nice. Okay. Um, and then you said you do it every day. Um, do you have to use them every day to see the benefits of them? Or is there like, can you do like two weeks before your period? And then, you know, like, yeah. So her time daily is, it should be considered like your daily multivitamin, right? You, you know, that if you use your daily multivitamin every single day, with time, you're going to see all those benefits. So as you said, you've been using her time, you think about a week now, and you're starting to notice those benefits. Mm -hmm. That is what happens with her time. If you use her time daily, every single day, with time, you're, you're going to feel even healthier, those symptoms are going to decrease, you're going to notice with consistency, that you're noticing a huge difference. Her Time Classic is a higher dosage of some different ingredients that you can use just during your menstrual cycle. And it will, it will help with the bloating, the cramping, the, the specific PMS symptoms that come and go. But Her, Her Time Daily gives you full month support from those like mood swings you were referring to, yeah. menstrual migraines that come a week before your period, those sort of things. Mm -hmm. um, all of our other products, we do recommend daily because women need support daily, right? Yeah. Um, but for example, we say use one a day or if you're really um, for like her power, for example, if you're feeling really, really anxious or if you're feeling really like you can't focus on your work or whatever it is, use two to three a day. But we do recommend every product once a day and you can increase the ones that you need as you're as you with what you're feeling for the day. Okay. All right. So on your feedback from your customers, what is something that you, you get the most feedback on? Like, what do people say that they're feeling the most like relief from or of? Yeah. In the first month, women are noticing huge differences with their cramping and their bloating and the, the amount of blood loss. That's like, First, like, oh my goodness, this is what I'm noticing. Is this her time already? Or women with anxiety are noticing very quickly with her power, the help with um, their anxiety and depression from her power. Those are immediate results. Long term, we have subscribers that have been on our products over a year now, and they'll say, you know what, I decided that maybe I maybe I didn't need to use her time anymore because my periods are so great. So I went off of it for a month and just kidding. I'm never going to do that again because quickly I was reminded about how much I hated my period before. Mm -hmm. And for a year now with her time, I've noticed that my cycle just comes and goes. So 
they leave and not because her time makes their period worse than it was before. It's just their body continues to need that support every month. And so they want to remain feeling their best. Mm, Got it. All right. So um, what would you say you are the most proud of to date? Um, Proud of to date. Let's see. I'm loving the community that Mixers has created. We have a platform with um, over 35,000 women that feel like they have a friend in Mixers. And to me, that's a huge success because that's what I've dreamed of is just like I mentioned before, having a safe space and a place where women feel listened to. And so I'm really proud of that. I'm also really proud of um, the support that women are feeling with our products. I love our testimonials. I love our reviews from our customers. And I'm feeling very proud that we have created products that are um, a solution for the problems that women have been facing previously. Nice. So what does success look like and mean to you? Success to me, this is what I'm chasing. These are the dreams I'm chasing. I want to be able to travel the world with my kids because of Mixer success and because Mixers has helped so many women that it's uh, provided financial independence for my family. Um, And success to me looks like I've created a lot of jobs for women in need of jobs um, and that we have a thriving community of, I hope, hundreds of thousands of women where, like I mentioned before, where they have um, a safe group of women ready to listen to them and you know, a safe space where is, am I crazy for feeling this? Or is this, is this something that's just wrong with me? No, girl, we like we, I totally used to feel that way. Or I feel that way too, right now. Like, if you feel crazy, then I'm crazy too. And then other people chime in. No, like you guys, let's, let's talk about it. Let's get, let's get through these frustrations. And just having that really, really tight knit community, it will be a huge success to me personally. Okay. I love it. All right. So do you feel like you are doing purpose-driven work? Yes, I do. I feel like because I had felt this, um, I felt that we were, I was personally lacking this space. I needed this community. And so I'm driven personally to, I don't know. I, I needed this community. So it was like a purpose I had personally yeah. to create this space. Does that make sense? Absolutely. It does. It yes. was a need I was personally feeling. Right. And, and through that need, you have filled a void, you know, Yes, and helped others. So I that, sure hope so. I absolutely. know it's helped me. <laughs> yeah. Well, please. Yes. Anything to do with taking care of our bodies and, and yeah. helping us to, you know, think about what we need and give ourselves what we need. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. So I want you to share an oh hell no moment that has changed your life and an oh hell no moment. You know, it's a moment of shock or disbelief. Um, it can be a shared moment or you can experience it by yourself. It just depends on what brings that moment on. So is it a good moment or a, or is an oh hell no moment a, oh, I did a lot of things wrong. It could be either like you can have oh hell no moments that are great where like okay. someone gives you a big check to like invest yeah. in your company. You're like, oh hell no. We just got yeah, the- okay, okay. Like, you know, I have to tell you, I'm so happy you asked this because it was actually just last week and I'm really excited to share this with you. Okay, good. For sure, last week I had an incredible moment where in 20 minutes we sold through an inventory I thought would last us months. And sitting there in 20 minutes and watching these sales come in and seeing our community showing up for mixers and having that demand for a a product. I mean, I was bawling my eyes out. I could not believe the way, the support that I personally felt. 
I couldn't believe the cells. Um, I, the excitement, the energy that my whole team felt, it was just, I never want to forget that moment, that whole day, all of that excitement and that positive energy that I felt. And for sure, to me, that was an unforgettable moment. Wow. So you were like watching the sales like, oh, hell no, girl, we selling out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And then it was, right. oh, my gosh, what, how, what do we need to do to get this all back in stock? And so it was like the excitement, then the, wait, wait, you know, it was just, right. it was amazing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's such a great story. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank so you. please share with everyone where they can purchase your products and how they can check everything out. Great. Um, our website is mixers, www.mixers, M-I-X-H-E-R-S dot com. And that's where you can find a load of information, education, blogs, our products as well. But also come and join us um, in our community on Instagram at mixers, M-I-X-H-E-R-S. You can be educated about our products, learn which products are for you and also become part of the conversations that we're having over there. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Jess. I really had a great time with this interview. Thank you for inviting me. I'll, I'll hope that we can have a second episode sometime soon. I'm sure we will the way you're (laughs) killing it. it. (laughs) I'll look forward to it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Mobile for Business, unconventional thinking means we see things differently so you can focus on what matters most. That's why we've become the leader in 5G, number one in customer satisfaction, and a partner who includes 5G in every plan so you get it all. Unconventional thinking is better for business. Open Signal Awards T-Mobile as America's fastest 5G network USA. 5G user experience report July 2021. Capable device required. Coverage not available in some areas. Some uses may require certain plan features. See T-Mobile.com. For J.D. Power 2020 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. Does everyone need customer support today? We've got you. Intercom has the tools to manage support at any scale, like integrations, bots, and more. All in one powerful platform. We'll even automatically resolve 33% of your support volume, so you have more time for customers who need you most. Oh, that's better. Supercharge your team's productivity and make your customers super happy with Intercom. Learn more at intercom.com support.